Well, if the O.J. Simpson case is the Super Bowl of murder trials, defense lawyer Johnny Cochran is surely the star quarterback. Cochran has become a household name. He is just as famous as the celebrity clients he represents. While Johnny Cochran, the lawyer, has become very public, Johnny Cochran, the man, guards his private life. Our Straight from the Streets team of Keith O'Dara grabbed some time with the high-profile attorney. They discovered a man quite different from anything you might have ever imagined. We were a very close family. We did everything together. We went to church together. We had all our meals together. Uh, we talked together. We were inspired by our parents, who really were like our role models. And I, I tell you, it was just it was a great time. We have a meeting with the Simpson lawyers. My parents endorsed that dream and told me I could do it. So everything I, was, I, I did was in furtherance of that dream. We respected our parents. We listened to them. And when they said that we could be anything that we wanted to be, we listened to them and believed them. And, you know, it turned out to be true. People say, well, gee, you're lucky. And I tell them, look, luck is the residue of skill and preparation. And that uh, when opportunity comes, you've got to be ready. And success occurs when opportunity meets preparation. When you're going through school, you know, it's really easy to waste your time and do all these things. My father always told us how important it was to do the best that we could while we had this opportunity. And so I think that the parents have to do more parenting, have to set an example. You know, kids live by example. We can't always wait for the government to do everything. So what we did, we made a substantial commitment to building uh, a place over on Redondo. We call it Cochran Villa. And uh, it's 10 units uh, for formerly homeless families or whatever. They can come and stay a period of time until they get back into society. And it really, it's, it's a beautiful place, too. Unfortunately, in our society, African-American males are becoming almost like an endangered species. So I wanted to, to not discriminate, but I wanted to have some financial help for, for young black kids, males who wanted to go to UCLA. And if they showed they could do the work, they would be able to get it for up to four years. And there's not a week that I don't go out to uh, where she's buried to just kind of spend some time with her. Exciting things are happening in my life and I'm, I'm doing some different things. I like to, you know, have her understand what's happening and, and you know, and really, and I, I have the feeling that she understands and knows what's going on and I just want to make sure she knows that uh, I'm still looking for her guidance and I want her to know that uh, I hope I'm living my life where she wants me to live it.